What's up YouTube? My name is Maya and welcome once again to my very simple but yet very lovely channel Maya Sky. Now today we're taking a break from all the usual uh, spicy stuff and we're going on one of my favorite activities in my very favorite place. Um, so I am a big big fan of nature and hiking and today we're coming to you from Mont Saint Bruno um, which is a little mountain uh, just south of Montreal and luckily for me about 15 minutes away from my house so one of the many reasons I like to come here is that it's very far away from all the stress it's far away from all the problems of city life and whatnot so um, I feel in, like I'm in my element since I have grown up in the country when I was very very young so I'll show you a little bit about my favorite place come with me along for the ride now the very first stop is going to be the grotto we're right in the middle of the woods, so let's get a little bit closer to it. There's my backpack. So it's a nice little area, which was at one time used for worship. I presume that must have been an altar inside of it. So you see we're completely surrounded by nature, which I love. It's so peaceful, relaxing. So yeah. So this grotto was actually built in 1954 and was used up until 1976 for worship right here on the mountain. So here's one of the four lakes on the mountain. Absolutely beautiful. And again, very peaceful. Now when you're on a hike, it's very important to admire the beauty, but it's also very important to remember a couple of rules. First of all, a good pair of walking shoes. Second of all, you do have to enjoy nature, but you have to be careful too, and mind your footing. As you see, we're going downhill here. I remember the first time I brought my eldest daughter here on a hike. She was admiring the beauty of the lake that you can see through the trees and she wasn't minding her footing and she fell, tripped and fell on this very spot, split her knee. So you always have to be careful and mind your surroundings. So there we have the old mill. I wish it was a bit quieter and more discreet, but it's quite a popular place as it's been converted in some sort of a cafe. Let's get a closer look. Whoops, sorry about that. So there you have it. I'm going to get inside and get something to drink and then we'll head over to the Bridge of the Three Arches which is not very far from here. So we are now on the Bridge of the Three Arches and it really doesn't look like much does it? That's until you actually go down this way and you take a look at it it's actually pretty beautiful, simple, but beautiful, just like I like things.
There it is. So here we're getting close to the last stop on our little tour, which is the old cemetery. Fortunately, it's locked so we can't go in, but it's still pretty cool. So we're gonna have a quick look at it. So you see, even in the woods, there's monuments with overgrown trees. So beautiful and peaceful. We can't see much. Fortunately, it doesn't look like they're taking much care of it, which is a shame. I'd love if they could open it up. I'd love to go have a see inside, take a look. That's too bad. It's very peaceful though. I don't know if you can tell through the branches, but there are some markers on the ground. As for the rest, well, it's all covered up in grass. But a very nice and peaceful place. So there you have it. That was a brief tour of one of my favorite areas to come. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really did. Uh, one of my favorite ways to pass Sunday. And it was a beautiful Sunday of that. So until next time, this is Maya saying see you later.